Tycon has sent me a new toy. A new little something to play with. It's uh, looking quite impressive. So this is the new switch that Tycon has brought out. It's a new industrial switch. It's the TP-SW8GBT-AT slash PSV-U IEEE 802.3AF slash AT slash BT slash passive. So this does everything. It's got two uh, 1 gig slash 2.5 gig um, base X SFPs on it. So those are 2.5 gig SFPs. Uh, it's got an RS-85 and it's got a 24 volt 6 watt output. On the top here, we can take 12 uh, to 57 volts DC. Max PoE power, 12 volt input, 60 watts. 24 volt input, 120. 54 volt, 240 watt. Plus there's a USB 3 on here for some weird reason. It's also got a serial console port and a ground terminal on it. Hmm. I have a feeling this has some buck boost in it. Because otherwise, how could the PoE work under 12 volt input? I'm curious. I'll have to do some experimentation with that, really. Kind of like I did back in high school. Um, so we've got some um, DIN rail mounts for it here. Let's open up the DIN rail bag for it. And this is a layer two switch. It doesn't do routing. Okay. So what do we got here? We've got some wall mount plates. So you can stick these plates on here and then screw it into a wall or do the way that I like to do it. Din rail, a big, chonky, sexy din rail. Look at that. Ooh. Here's our default IP, which actually, um, why don't we fire it up? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's fire it up. Uh, what do I need here? I need a slot, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, we've got some power connected to it. Now, in typical fashion, we've got an A bus and B bus, or one and two. So, let's power it up. All right, off the hop, it's using about 14 watts to get started. That's not very much. Okay, we're sitting idle at 4.3. Come on, do something. Well, it's sitting quite happily at 4.3. Is it booted up? Yet? Max total passive PoE at 54 volts is 120 watts. Cool. All right, let's plug into port one. And so that I can bring this thing up on the computer and log into eat. And we'll do the power testing screw around video. Either as a second portion to this video or as another video. Let's, let's just see how the night progresses. All right, so let's go over here now. There, check one. Sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> Let me see what I said a minute ago when you couldn't hear me. Ooh, it looks like Tycon's changed their GUI a bit. Look at this. This isn't nearly as kludgy. This is actually quite snappy. Mosquito. Oh, am I going <laughs> to... National bird of the Minnesotans. Minnesotians. All right, so let's see here. Cool, 48 volt passive. Look at the drop downs on this. Wow, I'm really liking this new Tycon interface. 
yeah, this is cool. This is kind of, this is really nice. This is, oh my God. They listened to us. This is what you guys wanted. You guys wanted a little bit of a more user-friendly uh, interface on the Tycon stuff, right? And they've given it to us. Look at that. This is awesome. Can I clicky clicky on here? Nope, let's check on. Look at that. So we can make this trunk or access. Can we not make it? Oh, hold on. I'm assuming that it's just automatically set up as a hybrid. So we can untag it on whatever VLAN and then tag whatever VLANs uh, we want through. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, usually you see trunk access and hybrid. But yeah, look at this. The menu system on this is just so much simpler. Oh, I love it. Look at this. It's just so simple and clean. Look at the network section here. Oh, we can ping? That's cool. I'm very excited. Look at that IPv6 stuff. Oh, spanning tree. Oh, look at that. I click on it. Oh, that's under the advanced section. I'm not going to get there yet. Look at that. HTTPS, Telnet. Of course, disabled firmware section. Nice. Now let's go to the advanced section. So I'm assuming I can click here or click here. Clicky, clicky. Oh, even the classic interface for it is just... So much snappier, so much more responsive. Look at all these functions we've got in here. Although, am I starting to see some uh, some layer three functionality on here? Mm. There's our spanning tree stuff. Reliability. That's weird that they would call the spanning tree section reliability. Eh, whatever. Network diagnosis. Nice. Alarms. Cool. Device list. All right, and system management. This has some really interesting features. I'm just gonna plug in something just to see what happens. I'm gonna plug in this stupid quick fix radio that I've got here. And uh, I'll plug it into one of the BT ports. I'm assuming it should automatically detect and turn on. And in which it does. And cool, we've got our wattage up top here. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is looking pretty cool. So yeah, we don't have the 24 volt DC passive enabled on it. We're not using. Oh, this is this is great. Now you're probably wondering if the gigabit ports on this thing are 2.5. They are not. This is only 10 100 1000 base T. Uh, it's only the SFPs that can do uh, 2.5 gigabits per second. But this is a really sweet little switch. I mean, especially having like what? One, two, three, four ports that can do PT. Right? This is pretty cool. Yeah, and it actually shows you which port has power on it too, right there. And how much power. Wow. This is a nice switch. I mean, really, it is. And like the fact that you can actually choose your 48 volt passive. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. I guess, um, so this is going to be the, uh, I'm going to go back to the other screen now. There we go. Check one, check one. All right, move my microphone over here. So you can see my muff off camera here a little bit. There you go. So yeah, you can see this little switch, it's, it's, it's got some weight to it, by the way, some girth, eh? Woof. This is a great little switch. And, uh. I have to say, um, 
I really like the new uh, interface on it. This is cool. Yeah, so you know what? I'm, I'm like done for the night. And how long is this video? Uh, 10 minutes. Uh, that's good enough for most of you monkeys out there with your horrible attention spans. Damage from social media and smartphone technology to the point where anything that's longer than two minutes or even 50 sec seconds is too much for you to pay attention to and then you bitch about it. <laughs> so there you go. The new sweet Tycon device with a brand new GUI. I'm assuming that moving forward now, Tycon's going to be using that really, really nice GUI system that they've got on there. This is great. And I'm not even going to bother delving into the command line on these things because pretty much all industrial switches have similar command lines on them. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So in the next video for this, because there is a lot to unpack, I'm going to just feed it 12 volts and see if it'll power stuff. We're going to try the different voltage ranges and see if it has full boost functionality because we know it's got buck. But let's see if it's got boost. All right, so that's all you guys are getting out of me tonight. So... You can look forward to my experimentation on this thing after I bust out the uh, uh, the dummy load and other things to play around with on it to see what we can get it up to. All right, anyway, ciao for now. Bye.